everyone. Okay, today I've got an energy of somebody would like an opportunity to talk to you, okay? They're very proud of you is the message I'm hearing. They're very proud of what you accomplished. I feel they didn't show you, okay? This was a very, very close connection you had with this person. Could have been love at first sight. Um, you, you know, your eyes lock and you just know that is the person for you, okay? But I don't feel they, at some point, possibly, probably, towards the end of the relationship, they didn't show their appreciation for you, okay? Well, they're on their own now. I feel they're on their own now. I feel they've tried to move on, but they can't, okay? And they're looking back and they're kind of contemplating trying to make some sort of contact with you. Like I say, they would like an opportunity to talk to you. I feel intuitively today that this person, oh gosh, was quite inflexible towards the end of your relationship. Um, I'm hearing the, I'm hearing, um, fire energy specifically Aries okay but they could be quite fixed in their ways quite fixed in their views um a little bit you know do as I say not as I do kind of energy okay they could be older than you as well I'm hearing so let's go let's have a look at what this is um firstly when I'm shuffling these what I'm going to look at first is how they're sort of in their life at the moment, what, what's really going on deep down within them, their feelings about life in general, just an overall energy. So just give these a bit more of a shuffle. Just while I'm shuffling though, I hope you're all well. Thanks so much for watching, supporting me. Um, it's amazing. You're just so, so lovely. And all your comments as well. If you would like a reading, just, oh, I'm taking those two. If you'd like a reading, if you just click on the title, if you're on a mobile, that'll take you through to the description box. Uh, also check out the free relationship report. Okay, those two cards wanted to come out. Right. There's something, this is specific. There's something on a financial basis they've got some worries about, okay? But they have some changes. All right. So at the moment... I feel they realise that they can't really do it without you, that you brought such a lot to the table, okay? I don't think you got the praise that you should have got for something. I think you had some achievements, um, there was something you were doing that was really, really good. But I feel you got more criticism than you did praise of this person, okay? So, they have got financial and material changes, material harvest, so basically, it's all to do with money. Um, something I feel possibly isn't working out, okay? I honestly feel that they've tried a few things, tried a few options since you've been in separation, okay? And possibly for a while they were quite independent. They got their stuff around them, you know. But they are now feeling trapped in this. It's not fulfilling them, okay? Because the energy that came out when I was pre-shuffling, I was just shuffling and the cards came out, it's the Two of Cups, okay, and Judgment. So it's a very, very clear energy of someone from your past wanting to know if you have run out of road, all right? But I feel they have got some financial loss here. Can you be a little bit more specific, guys? What, what, some more information on that. Let's just dig a bit deeper. That's what they're going to tell you. They've got a move, okay? Eight ones. I, I just feel that they are going to have to leave a situation they are in. I think they're going to take a bit of a hit financially, okay? But it's going to happen very quickly. This is going to happen very, very quickly. I feel that they've been sat in this energy. Um, sometimes you can think, and I think this is this person, that they wanted this lifestyle and they just thought, well, you know, I, I can do this and I'm going to try these other things. But now 
they're kind of trapped in it. It could be they are having to rely on somebody else, okay? But with regards to you today, they're going to come forward, okay? The Eight of Wands is a message card. It's a very quick energy. It's sudden. You know, I think one of the old meanings of this was, you know, Cupid's. Cupid's message, Cupid's arrow, okay, they are going to come back in, but be I just feel because of the financial and material changes, then they're making a decision to let go of something in the physical which has tethered them to a certain person, persons or situation, okay. Something hasn't worked out and they are going to message you and you are going to hear about this. Okay, bottom of the deck, page of cups. I feel that you will not be expecting this. It's going to be very sudden and it's going to be out of the blue. Can you give me a little bit more, please, on this person's environment? Person's environment, please. Person's environment, give me one card, thank you. Yeah, exactly the same card, exactly different deck, but same card. Yeah, I think they've dug a hole of their own making because of this five of pentacles in here, okay? You know something, they could be dependent on someone else or other people on have been dependent on them but there is an overall dependency going on here in some shape or form your person feels spiritually empty okay i feel to maintain i even just heard a reef over their head or a lifestyle that they are having to do and be something that isn't what their soul wants all right it isn't what their soul wants it's come at a price like a, a bird in a cage okay like a bird in a cage and whilst it all seemed very nice to start with or you know they were in quite a selfish energy it, it's not now it's not now okay one more please for the environment thank you yeah there's somebody else they're hooked into okay um i've got a female energy here uh, Earth, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Um, you know, I really feel strongly today that your person has, has like I said, dug a hole. Um, they've got themselves attached to, I feel, an Earth sign who is either funding the lifestyle, so they when they leave this situation they'll take a financial hit because the money will be cut off or it's a female energy of somebody who isn't doing enough isn't pulling their weight and is dependent on your person okay that's what i meant earlier by dependency i don't mean you know alcohol dependency or any of that i just there, there is a there is a money exchange here, all right? But your person is going break free. They're still in love with you. You know, they, they are still in love with you. And I feel in this connection they're in, in the situation they're in at the moment, they're not allowed, they, they can't express themselves, like they can't be themselves, okay? With you, they could. With you, they could. You, you love them warts and all. Right, you love the warts and all. What is this person's feelings, please, towards who I'm reading for today? Yeah, a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion. They've been keeping it secret for quite a while now, okay? I think you intuitively know this person still cares. Once the pain had gone of the separation... I feel who I'm reading for today knows that this person at some point is going to walk him back through the door, if that's what you want, okay? They feel you are a very deep person yourself. 
They also feel you're very intuitive, okay? You yourself could be highly intuitive, empathetic, psychic. Well, all, we're all psychic. We're all psychic. We all have the same abilities, okay? But your person feels you are. They're, they're very proud of you. Very proud of your accomplishments. They could be watching you, all right? You know, if you've achieved something since separation, they could be watching you unbeknownst to you, okay? Because they have been keeping their feelings secret. They have been keeping their feelings secret. They have a great deal of respect for you, okay? And when you were happy with your person, there was a great deal of mutual respect between you both, okay? A great deal of mutual respect. Oh, gosh, yeah. They just absolutely still adore you, you know? Um, this could be a past life connection that you've had with this person before. You just knew this person. You, you, you knew them. You, you knew them from somewhere even if you'd never seen them before when you met them, okay? There was just an instant attraction. But their feelings for you is they're so emotional. I feel they will, when they get in touch, they, they just want to be able to fall in love again with you. It's really quite a nice energy, this today. It really is a nice energy. Um, they're quite idealistic about love, which I think was a shock when it ended. Because for a while with your person, it was a very loving relationship. And you were never walking on eggshells with each other. You just got each other. You just clicked. All right. You just clicked. Um, let's just have a look at the past. It's such a beautiful energy. What went wrong here? Spirit. Let's just see. It's such a lovely, lovely energy. So they could have written you letters when you first met. Okay, but it's a beautiful energy. What went wrong? Let's just see what happened. Five of Cups. Okay, this is specific. In the past, there was something that, okay, that either you're, you, usually at a subconscious level, or your person hadn't got over from their past. This isn't to say that they didn't love you. Not at all, okay? Someone was triggered here. Somebody was triggered. I can see that, with the three cups in the past, that... There were groups of people, possibly friends, maybe social groups, maybe there was too much partying that got in the way. And these two cups together, these two cards together, you know, in a literal sense, can mean somebody who is going out too much. Maybe alcohol was involved too much. Maybe that that you you weren't getting things done that should have been done. Okay, but that aside. There is something at a subconscious level, either on your part or their part, that was triggered. Possibly childhood or a previous relationship that... And it happens all the time. It makes you feel secure in the, new, in the present relationship. And then your subconscious mind starts having all these thoughts. And, you know, before you know where you are what you're thinking is kind of manifesting into your into your environment which i feel happened here but you know something this person still loves you this person still loves you very very much um, and they will suddenly come back in let me see what they'd like to say please um but they've got to detach from this female energy so it could be third party that you know about, or it could be uh, friends, family, anybody, okay? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Mm. Finding out the truth, 
crushed me. So there was something they found out that crushed them. Possibly, I'm hearing something you reacted to, but you had a lot of pain in this relationship as well so people do react i want you yeah let's just clarify those before we wrap this up let's just have a look why was it hard to let you go this was quite a stable commitment you were you were in a stable commitment okay I think the truth that that they that, that crushed them. I think that the, the in the cold light of day was that you decided that you didn't want to keep repeating this cycle. You'd had enough. You 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 just had enough. So you didn't want to put any more work into it. I think you evaluated where you were. You looked at. You know, because you how far you got in this, and you let go. You let go. Okay, you distance yourself. You distance yourself. You could have gone into a new situation, but definitely, there's somebody watching this today who's who's had an about turn in their life um, and started to really work on themselves and their own projects. I think your person's been watching you. Okay, not coming forward. Not saying anything, but watching you. You know, I just heard with these, these two cards, this person never thought you'd walk away. It was a slow ending. It could have been on, off for a while. They never thought you would walk away. They always thought you would be there, okay? Always thought you would be there. I want you hanged man yeah I don't think you gave this person closure in some ways I think you it was very hard for you but you you literally just put an end to it I think you just put an end to it you weren't willing to sacrifice anymore because with the five of cups in the past all you were getting was pain and heartache heartache okay pain and heartache and the Three of Cups is a card that can indicate, indicate three spokes in the wheel. Okay, I want you, Ace of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They do want you. They do want you. You know, the Ace of Swords are going to come in very quickly. Very, very quickly. Um, there is a slight element here. I'm going to throw it out because it's here that they could be a little bit jealous of you. You've succeeded at something. They are going to hit a fight. They're going to have a financial hit or have to downsize, I heard downsize, to come back into your life, okay? I think they are a little bit jealous of how well you've done and how you've really just lifted yourself out of a big black hole, all right? Um... And they want you, they want you for yourself. And I was getting Aries right at the beginning, the Emperor's out. You know, for me, that's, that's Aryan energy. But it's also somebody who doesn't like to lose, okay? Who does not like to lose. Um, so yeah, this person will be back. I uh, hope that has helped somebody today. Yeah, casual. I think that's how you got fed up of it in the end. It it just became... You felt there wasn't enough commitment, okay? I think you felt there wasn't enough commitment from, from your person, all right? But they're going to come back in. Um, there's going to be a lot of truth here. Straight to the point, this person will get straight to the point. This isn't a quick decision they've reached, okay? They've been sitting, contemplating, reviewing, um, deciding what's next. 
they are specifically going to say, is it over? Can we give it another go or is that it? All right, so very quick energy, quite shocking, I think, for you. I think it will be a shocking energy jolt here, but there you go. Take care. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and always remember it's your choice. You're the operant power, okay? Whatever you think, you will create. So someone here didn't think you could do it, but you have. I love you very much. Speak soon. Bye.